Opa, eu, 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 eu. Oh, yeah. oh, tudo oh, bem? Yeah. Prazer. Oh, oh my god, he's showing me his lovely calves. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Out of the cities we go, taking an off-road adventure to Parachi. Parachi is a small town backed by mountains on Brazil's Costa Verde, between Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. Derek is organized with some local friends to take us out on a boat trip. Oh, it's gonna be loud down here. It's amazing. The coolest thing about this part of the journey is that my bass brother, Sepultura's very own Paolo, is joining us for this part of our Brazilian road trip. After some non-stop monsoon rains, we are lucky to get a break in the clouds to get out on the water and enjoy some caipirinhas made with fresh limes and Brazilian cachaça. It's a good idea to keep these to a minimum, but I guess it's one way to get your greens in. The air here is so clean, it's a refreshing change from urban life. Spending time and being surrounded by this stunning green landscape, you can feel the healing power of nature. We really need to do a better job in taking care of this planet. We jumped off the boat to grab some food at a charming little waterfront cafe. It was easy to find loads of plant-based food here. These are yucca fries, similar to potato fries and delicious. Yucca is a healthy fat and gluten-free root vegetable. It is high in vitamin C, B and A. It's higher in fiber and potassium than potatoes. And as an Irish woman who loves her spuds, I give these the big thumbs up. Parachi was founded in the mid 17th century. This stunning Portuguese colonial center still has its original cobbled stones. The 17th and 18th century buildings date back to its time as a port during the Brazilian gold rush. Luckily, I didn't attempt these streets in high heels. I took the guys to a small Italian restaurant in the center of town that I heard some good things about, a place called Pipo. Oh, have you guys eaten here before? Nope. Nope. This is called Pipo. Uh, Pipo. I think it's somebody's name. It's a nickname. Uh, yeah, a nickname of the owner. And we'll see what happens. Ooh. Ooh. Chegando. Italiano Siciliano. Oh, Siciliano. It's a little different. Great wine. Very different. So it's a bruschetta. Tomato, a little garlic, olive oil. Very simple, traditional. Italian. Roasted veggies, always good. This has got some mango, carrot, and... Uh, Abobrinha. Abobrinho, zucchini. And lettuce. Lettuce. Rucola. And rucola. Maybe. A little bit. A little bit. Does this look anything like you guys ride around the road? A little bit. We always have some veggies and stuff like that. On tour, backstage catering is known in the industry as the rider. Derek and I always request fully plant-based options on the rider. Well, we've been trying to be, especially on the road, we try to be as healthy as possible, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I don't, I try to not eat, eat too much. Uh, oi, oi, oi. Opa, hey, oi, oi, hey. Oi. Oh, yeah. Oh, to the main. Prazer. Oh, no. oh, oh my God, he's showing me his lovely calves. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 14 years. Wow. wow. 
Ah, legal, é nóis, Dayo. Então, on the last record, né, we did a lot of vegan cooking in Sweden. Yeah, you cooked in the studio a lot. That's always great when you have an actual kitchen yourself and you mm -hmm. can play around. Because then the vegan can cook for you guys. <laughs> Which they, they didn't mind, you know, they made a lot of food all the time for everybody. Yeah, and it's great, everybody living in the same place. And um, some people were working, you know, like doing bass or doing guitar, and then I would cook. It was the most demanding record for me. But all that good cooking helped, right? Yeah. <laughs> the cooking, the exercise. The exercise. So yeah, they were, you know, out in the middle of nowhere in Sweden, you know, literally like surrounded by farms. And, uh, and then I started running, and then Paolo started doing walks and, uh, really clear your head, you know, an environment of just silence. Sometimes it's good for you, you know, to be in a very calm environment. You can recharge your batteries and concentrate and do your, <laughs> and come back to the madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Studio, studio's intense, so people don't realize that. No, they have no They're idea. like, oh, you're just going to record a couple songs. It's, no, like... it's like, you're going to put your heart and soul and spill it out. We're going to do a whole trip you're gonna drive us to rio and sao paulo rio de janeiro then back to sao paulo so tomorrow in rio then. yes Saúde. Saúde. join us in the next episode as we travel to rio de janeiro don't forget to like subscribe and share our highway to hell